a little bit of FedEx in your life. Let's see if we can find this turbo spot truck. I think I see it. I got a bunch of FedEx. So I guess they're shop. Funny how they have a shop, but then they call me to come 80 miles. It's all good though. We do, we do. You call us to come 80 miles, we're gonna do it. Okay, well, we got an oil leak on this thing. Um, let's go ahead and get into it. Well, I appreciate it. Right. We let it run. It's definitely got a leak. Very bad. See it coming down. Looks like it's coming from. Looks like there's a some type of gasket right there or something. I'm gonna I'm gonna have to figure it out. But it's leaking from this back right corner right here, and it's leaking pretty bad. So we'll see. All right, so from a different view, we got leaking from at least two different areas. You see it coming down here. Now it looks like there's some kind of the injectors go up here on the side of the engine, but if you see that little rubber, so I can get it zoomed on there. Hold on, it's like a rubber gasket right there behind this plate and I think that's somehow come come almost out a little bit um, does that make sense like because I don't even know what's really holding it in down over here on that end it's got the same rubber piece but um, it's got the same rubber piece but it looks like it's it's in there a little bit more secure and it's not leaking so i'm gonna just try and see if i can uh put a pry bar on this and see if something i can just push in um and see if i can get it to stop leaking it's just leaking from the bottom there that's why i called the parts person trying to see if i can get like a breakdown if you know what holds that in is it rubber is it plastic um you know i, I heard it's just a it's just a metal piece with a gasket so it may be something like that so we're gonna I'll give you some more information when I get it I'm gonna try and push this in and see if it moves all right so getting with the parts guy like I said in the last deal and oops, going to probably end up doing the job um, I mean yeah that's that's a bad leak it's still just straight leaking so it's definitely gonna be a big job. You gotta take off the fuel filter housing. You gotta drain the oil. Um, yeah, it's a pretty big job, but we are not afraid to do it. So we'll see, they, they may just take it back to the shop and get it done. They wanted it just us to verify. But yeah, I mean, as I'm here, it's kind of cool. This is the FedEx facility. And look who's, look who's buying up all the FedExes. See, it used to be L&N. Little mom and pop decided to sell out to the big boys. But Fleet Pride, they're taking over the world. So Fleet Pride's got LNN, which apparently has like 12 different shops. Um, 12 different of these shops, which are just dedicated to FedEx. They got 14 mechanics here. All they do is FedEx, probably rolling 24 7 with 14 people on the lot. But yeah, I mean, you just, you, you got Fleet Pride is trying to take over. And don't get me wrong, like I said, I, oh wow, look at all the red tags. But don't get me wrong, I mean, I'm, I'm here for it. I'm ready to fight for it. 